everyone, Five Farley here. It's January 23rd, Wednesday. Happy Hump Day, everybody. We have got a big slate of NBA games that I'm going to get the Daily Best Bet out to you in one second. If you haven't checked out NCAA Basketball's Daily Best Bet, please do so um, after this video, of course. And over there, we're rocking 90% uh, of the last 10 games, 9 out of 10. Not bad at all. Um, but I'm going to be fair and honest about this. NBA has been more 50-50. It's been about uh, a win, loss, win, loss, back and forth. Uh, it's really been struggling. I mean, I've, I was profitable in baseball, prof profitable in NFL, NFL postseason, po baseball postseason, NCAA basketball. NBA, though, is just, I can't quite get my hands around it. I feel this close to getting it right, but just not quite right there. So I'm looking for a run, and I think this play is a good one to start off on uh, to get that run started. Uh, but... That said, it's important to know, um, you know, where the capper stands. So that's where I'm at right now with that. All right, before I go into this pick, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Take a second, hit that notification bell, get my picks as they're coming out. Um, and thank you to the sub subscribers. I really appreciate my viewership. So um, much, much, much love to you guys. All right, so let's talk about today's slate of games. Um, so there's some decent games and some decent spots to be able to, you know, get some some coin in there. Anthony Davis is out, so we got an injury. I think we have an overplay on the other side, on the Pistons side, while Pelicans just come off a 20-point win against Memphis, playing at home here. Um, you know, I also think Ma Magic play good defense on the road. Uh, Nets here, Lane at first seven, now it's down to five and a half. I think that's because it's going to be a closer game than we think. May have a first half play on the Magic there. Uh, but the best bet I'm going to go with is the last game of the night, 735 tip-off, going to Salt Lake City, Utah Jazz, going against Denver. Now, Utah has won eight of the last ten. Uh, Denver has won seven of the last ten, both playing well. Denver just came off two layups, Chicago, Cleveland at home. Now they got to go up to this game. Now, the last seven times they've played in Salt Lake City, they've lost by an average of 14 points. They're 0-7, and they've lost by an average of 14. You may say this is a better Denver team, maybe, but in those seven games, in five of them, they didn't break the 90-point mark. Um, they may be better, but I don't think they're good enough to get this uh, within 10. I think this is a big Jazz victory especially coming off a Portland loss at home for Utah. Um, I think they're going to rally, come back with a win. They're not going to lose two in a row. We're only laying four. It opened at three. And we're only laying four. So I'm going to take the Utah Jazz minus the four as NBA's best bet here on Wednesday the 23rd. All right, good luck, everyone, tonight. We'll see you again soon.